Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, then hey. If you're returning, then welcome back. Today I have a video that I'm so excited to post. I finally um, am doing a craft video series and it's actually going to show you some of the things that I do with the Dollar Tree stuff that I haul. And it's going to be Christmas crafts. So if you are interested in that, then just stay tuned. And if you would like to see more videos like that, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell. And with that being said, let's just get on to this Christmas craft, y'all. So the very first craft that I'm going to be making is actually a wreath. And it's a deco mesh wreath. And it's my first time making one. So what you see me doing is decorating the Let It Snow sign from Dollar Tree. I'm mod podging scrapbook paper onto them as well as painting it. So what I'm doing now is just tracing on top of the letter with this little sewing tool. And the reason why I'm doing it this is because it makes an indentation in the scrapbook paper. And that just gives me a precise cut. So what I'm doing now is just painting the letters and before I started doing this I actually drew with a pencil onto the sign what colors I wanted on which letter so that when I started I wouldn't mess up or make a mistake which if we do we can always just go back and fix it or paint over it. Mistakes are still fine. So the scrapbook paper that you see me applying to the sign, I'm using Mod Podge to do that with. And I just have this little sponge that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just dipping it in the Mod Podge and just um, putting it onto the sign. And I used a little paint holder to put the Mod Podge in, which was actually kind of handy. And I also got that paint holder from, where else, but Dollar Tree. Now I'm just coating the sign with a coat of Mod Podge just to kind of give it a little protection. If this wreath were outside, I probably would have done more than one coat, but I made this for my sister. It's for her classroom. So she's just going to have it on her door and it will be inside. So what I'm doing now is just showing you where I used a little bit too much Mod Podge and it came through on the sign. But that's going to be fine because I have these little snowflake stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to cover up any mistakes that I made. And it actually turned out to me even cuter with the little snowflakes on there. So now I'm just adding one of the little wooden snowflakes that I got from Dollar Tree. It's actually the little wooden stickers they have that are already painted white and I'm just hot gluing that onto the little eye on the sign. And I like that it has that little, um, I don't know, little sticky dot on the back because it makes the snowflake raised up higher. And I'm also adding another little snowflake ornament that I got from Dollar Tree that I already painted white. And I'm just adding that to the sign as well. And all these little pops of extra snowflakes just to me make this little sign so cute. So now I'm just cutting a hole in a pom-pom, a little craft pom-pom. I'm going to add it to the top of a little snowman ornament that I got from Dollar Tree. And I need to pull the little top off where it hangs on the Christmas tree because I'm going to be attaching this to the wreath. Now I'm just adding a dab of hot glue in the hole in the crab pom pom that I just made. And I'm going to just glue this on top of his little hat. And it just makes it look so much more cuter to me. Now I'm starting on the actual wreath part and I'm using deco mesh that I got from Dollar Tree 
and I'm starting by tying them the two deco mesh that I used together and did I mention before that this is my very first deco mesh reef so after watching a few more videos I realized that there was a better way of doing this but I didn't know that at the time so that's just what you're seeing here So I was making a bubble deco mesh wreath. So I was just making my little bubble and I took um, pipe cleaners to twist it down to the wreath. Yeah, if you make wreaths, you're probably like, you should have put the twisty ties on the wreath form first. But again, like I mentioned, this was my first deco mesh wreath. So I didn't know that either. And you will notice that during the video, I actually do figure out to put the pipe cleaners on the actual wreath form itself. So here I'm actually kind of fighting with the deco mesh because the deco mesh that I used with the fake snow was super cute, but it was so hard to work with. And now I, looking back on it, I'm really sure that that wasn't actually deco mesh, but actually tool and it pulled and ripped the other deco mesh. So if you are a beginner like me, I would recommend you not use that to use the stick with the actual deco mesh. This is actually me showing you the pattern that I'm using, kind of like a zigzag. I have the pipe cleaners on the inside, then I did the outside, and then on the inside. And I'm just showing you that here. And this is when I actually figured to actually twist the pipe cleaner onto the wreath form itself and it was so much easier this way and as you can see I was actually able to form that zigzag pattern Here I'm just taking some of that deco mesh with the fake snow and just using it to fill in some of the um, empty spaces that you can actually see the wreath form on. I realized that some of my loops weren't quite even and I had empty spaces so I just used this as a filler. And I actually just attached it with the pipe cleaners that I already had in the wreath from the other deco mesh. So here's just the back of my wreath and some of my loops are kind of moving around so I just hot glued them to the wreath form so that I could keep them in place. And I'm just fluffing out the loops to give, make them look a little neater and I am so pleased with this wreath. I know it's not perfect but it still to me turned out so super cute. So now I'm just making some little curly cues. I don't know how else to explain it. And how I'm doing that is I'm just actually cutting pieces of the deco mesh that curled. And yeah, I'm just cutting them and getting them as uniform as I can. I don't even think I measured it. I just kind of eyeballed it. So I actually cut curls from the white deco mesh and the blue deco mesh and here I'm just making a group of them of three and I just use white, blue and white and I took a pipe cleaner and just tied them in the middle to make them like a little curly group and <laughs> it just turned out so cute. So now I'm attaching my little groups of curls onto the wreath and I ended up with five groups and that was all I could get before I ran out of the darker blue deco mesh and that also helped fill in some of those bald spots <laughs> that I had in my wreath. Thank you. 
So now I'm just hot gluing pipe cleaners to all four corners of the sign that I'm going to put on the wreath and I use some of my crafting tape to help secure it. So now I'm just using the pipe cleaners to secure the little sign to the wreath form. So now I'm just taking those cute little snowman ornaments that I did earlier and using a pipe cleaner to secure him and then taking that pipe cleaner and attaching it to the wreath form. I had so much fun making my very first deco mesh wreath and I am officially hooked. I cannot wait to make the next one and I still feel like this one turned out really, really cute. So I just hope that you got a different look at Dollar Tree items and what you could do with them. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye.